We did a bunch of work early on looking at various different types of weapons we could add to the sandbox. It's hard to find a new role that fits into that without breaking anything, but we throw stuff at the wall, see what sticks. And we found that the glaive was sticky. Yes, it was. <laughs> it is a projectile weapon, and it is a shield, and it's a melee weapon all at the same time. You can just destroy stuff. That's really satisfying. Yeah, it's a whole cocktail of absurdity. Adding anything new to a sandbox, it's never not going to be difficult. It's kind of amazing to think how many development hours went into this. A designer dedicated just to the Glaive for almost a year, like six months animated time, a ton of engineering support. And it's so different than we thought it was going to be from the oh, outset. Yeah. The amount of iteration that went into this resulted in something I think is really special. When we first started running playtests with it, they were way too strong. And that, that's a good thing. That's a good problem to have. You need to know how it's going to break things in addition to how it's working. And one of the best ways to do that is to send a whole bunch of people into a big map and go, hey, try and kill each other in the most ridiculous, absurd ways you possibly can. Like, look at this. <laughs> You're not really play testing if nobody is being an insufferable little trash goblin. It's my kind of play style. I like getting into the face. <laughs> It's a thing that I feel like doesn't get talked about enough. The importance of breaking whatever it is you're working on in order to make sure that it's functional and that we can ship it in a healthy way. It's very fun. I like mailing that fast. <laughs> we had a bunch of folks playing through using the Glaive and listening to them come out of that playtest and be like, wow, I felt like a badass. We knew that we were going in the right direction at that point. Up to this point, our primary melee-focused weapon archetype has been swords. We pull the camera out in third person because a lot of time, you know, you're, you're taking these really big swings that are going to hit things that would be outside your field of view if you were in first person. The glaive is a much more focused, much more directed thing. I mean, it's a pole arm. You're holding it. It is very clearly pointing in a direction. So we wanted to keep that experience in first person. It has an immediacy that I think would have been lost if we were exclusively in third person. We had an idea of what we wanted it to be, and we knew we could get there. And after a year seeing it, it's like, oh, of course we need that. That's what we're aiming at the whole time, right? But it's not. It's something completely new and completely unique. One of the things that I think is so exciting about the Glaive is it's the kind of weapon you can only find in a Bungie game. It doesn't exist outside of the Destiny universe. It's this thing that someone said, OK, we love the high fantasy influences, and we love sci-fi. Let's mold those two things together. And this thing that's like part lance, part fusion rifle, part shield. And it comes together to create this experience that you can only find in Destiny. This thing is awesome. A sword, a gun, and a shield all at once. It's just something we're really excited for. I can't wait for players to get their hands on the glaive.